mindset that this dude has. Like, he honestly thinks he's untouchable. Um, McElroy was charged with assault with intent to kill. He denied he was at the scene. As the case dragged on without a court date, Henry said McElroy parked outside his home at least 100 times. At least 100 times he went outside his house and just stare to try to intimidate him. At the trial, two raccoon hunters testified that they were with McElroy the day of the shooting away from Henry's property. So they were like, they were lying and protecting Ken again. Ken McElroy, so he would get out of this yet again. Henry was forced to admit in court under questioning by McElroy's attorney that he had concealed his own petty criminal conviction for more than 30 years ago. So McElroy was acquitted. So basically he completely got away with the shooting this guy on his own property like that's just completely insane to me completely insane okay so this is what led to ultimately the death of Ken McElroy and it's murky <laughs> let me just put it that way it's murky in 1980 one of Ken and McElroy children got into an argument with the clerk, Evelyn Sumi, in a local grocery store owned by Bo Bowen Camp and his wife, Lois, allegedly because the, the kid tried to steal some candy. McElroy began stalking Bowen Camp, the Bowen Camp family, so he began stalking all of them threatened Bo in the back of the store with a shotgun in hand. In the ensuing confrontation, McElroy shot Bone Camp in the neck and Bone Camp survived and McElroy was arrested and charged with attempted murder. That was the only charge that ever stuck and they charged it. Assault was the charge that stuck and he was freed on bail convicted at trial of convicted at trial of assault but freed on bail pending his appeal immediately after being released at a post trial hearing he went to the D&G tavern and this is where shit got real okay so he goes to the D&G tavern which is a local bar within M1 
to me with saying like if y'all are gonna do it, do it now. I don't wanna I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna talk about it. Like I just wanna get out of town and not, you know, plausible deniability here. So the citizens decide to go to the NG Tavern together. And the bar is soon filled completely and after McElroy finished his drinks he purchased a six pack of beer. statutory 